Thank you. Um, you know, when it comes to uh, Sheriff Chronister, Sheriff Judd Nako, and our good governor, clearly I drew the short straw when it came to good looks and hair. So. <laughs> but thank you for having me here. You know, Governor, it's, um, it's a bittersweet day, quite frankly. We should not be here. We should have had someone who did their job. The governor should not have had to come to Hillsborough County and clean up our mess. And that's really what it comes down to. And I appreciate the fact and admire the fact that you have the intestinal fortitude to stand here and do this. And this is a governor who's not afraid to stand alone in the storm. And I will always stand by you. So there's probably no one more in the room than, uh, that's more frustrated with Andrew Warren and me and Sheriff Chronister, and he spoke. And I will try to make this brief, but let me tell you something. Andrew Warren is a fraud. Yeah, did you get that? <laughs> Look, I've never been good at sugarcoating anything. That's probably why it took me 28 years to become chief of police. He's a fraud. He has misled the people of Hillsborough County. Do you remember back during the riots when we arrested 67 people one night? And then he, what, a few weeks later, he has a press conference. And what does he say in his press conference? He says that there were no acts of violence, no property damage. He must not have read the police report. There were pictures of a police car with broken windshields. As the cops tried to get out of the cars, protesters pushed their door shut on them and wouldn't allow them out of the cars. So when you say there's no acts of violence, when you say there's no property damage in a press conference where I come from, you're lying. Okay? I'm not elected. I was appointed. I'm not running for office right now. I'm here because I believe in keeping this community safe. I have two children and a wife that are residents of Hillsborough County in the city of Tampa. And it's about accountability and us being able to go out for dinner at night and not feel like we're going to get jacked by somebody. Yeah. Those 67 people that got arrested, Andrew Warren said in his press conference that he would work with local law enforcement to expunge those arrests. He does not have the ability to expunge, do an administrative expungement on those arrests. You know how many articles have been written about how he expunged those arrests? How would you like to be one of those 67 people that got arrested and you think that that arrest has been expunged? Ask Andrew Warren how many of those expungements he did. And the answer will be zero. Not a single arrest has been expunged. He has misled our community and it's time that, we, that our governor stepped in. And like I said, this is a terrible day that our governor had to come and clean up our mess. Thank you.